Well, yo, good morning. It's a frigid 45 degree day here in South Carolina. Beginning of April. So I'm inside goofing around. I thought I'd go through this. I'm trying to learn how this uh, field tough cedar is set up and how it works. And uh, I've been reading through the little tiny manual that they give you. So they tell you to, to uh, go ahead and run this in. There's a uh, adjustment knob here on either side. This is for the front box, or for the rear box, which is the seed box. And the front box is over here, and that's the um, fertilizer adjustment here. And um, the fertilizer box is a little bit smaller. So you can see the, uh, what's going on here is I'm turning this knob, and all it's doing is running in and out this a little feeder, this little gear here. Runs it in and out. And uh, that's the way you adjust the feed rate. So it's the same way for both ones. So the first thing they want you to do is run it all the way in, check to see that it is off. That all these are in. And they're, uh, so they're a little bit off. There's a little bit of play in there, but for the most part, that's pretty much all the way in. So you start turning this knob, open it up, you see that little gear feeder in there starts coming into the uh, into the box. So when it's all the way off, you see that this little flap right here, this solid piece is what's going into the into the feeder. So the way this thing works the seed is going to come down and just sit right in here. There's a little cup in there. And the uh, seed's going to sit there. And as you bring that little paddle wheel in, you're going to be able to basically agitate some seed and throw it into the, um, uh, into the funnel and then down in behind the wheel. So that's the whole process of this thing. The problem with it is, is that they tell you that uh, they've got it all calibrated for seed rates and everything based on this little number gauge here which is all wrong because the shaft isn't quite set in there right for those numbers so it's going to be kind of a relative thing you're just going to have to sort of take it to the field and figure it out um, I don't think you'd use their seed guide at all um, you see this will come all the way in this feels like some kind of nylon or HDPE or something. I'll probably have to put some uh, some grease on, some silicone grease on this. To keep that from seizing up. It feels like it wants to stick. So that's the deal with that. That's the way that thing is going to work. So it's going to be kind of a hit and miss thing. I think they wanted it around three or four for soybeans. Um, you know, I'm going to start pretty low. You know, maybe enough to fit a couple beans in each slot here. And um, give it a try, pull it five, six feet, get out, take a look how deep it is, where they're at. Um, so that's just going to be, we're going to have to kind of go by, just by practice, I guess. The other thing that, uh, you know, when this thing comes, this um, cover plate here is this, oriented like this. So this, there's two bolts down here. This just rides on a rod loose those up <clears throat> slip that down what you're gonna have to do is once you get out to the field you pick this up with the three-point hitch get this this here down where you want it and then um, tighten this up and then when you put it down on the ground it'll put some back pressure on it and uh, that's to cover the seed I think that's gonna work pretty well and this uh, you know this roller is the drive mechanism here this is what drags through the dirt and this thing is I, you know, the pipe is thin. Everything is kind of thin on this. Uh, if there was a weak spot, I'd say that this is going to be it. I see this thing getting bent up and beat up. And, but uh, that drives the chain, which drives... Um, each side drives a different hopper. And this, uh, so once you get it set, then we're going to have to get this. And this right here will adjust the um, this arm here. Either up or down pressure, which will level it out. So we want this thing running good and level with all ten discs, about the same depth. 
And that's probably going to take the most amount of time. Um, I can see that depending just on the soil. You know, there's no, there's no runner here or anything for depth. Um, this thing, depth is going to be controlled by the three-point hitch uh, where that position is. So that's going to be a little tricky, finding that out, um, where that thing wants to run. But I see this taking uh, quite a bit of time in the field to actually get this thing dialed in and get it to where it's planting good and consistent, inch and a half. Well, I'm sorry this one. But uh, I'll get some help out there with me and, and uh, I'll show you the video how this all works out. But that's the basic setup.